We may have suffered disappointment in Europe in the last episode, but things are going strong for Genshler Billy domestically, and today could be a huge episode. We play second place Akisa Sport in the league win, and we guarantee the titles coming back to Ankara. After that, we've got a cup semi-final tie at the Shukru Sarajolu Stadium as we travel to play Fenerbahce in the second leg. Wait a minute. Fenerbahce... In the second leg of the cup semi-final, away. I better get myself ready. Hold on to your hats, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Tekrahosh Geldin is... We have a potentially big episode here today. As I said in the intro, we have an opportunity to secure the title. We're playing our closest rivals, our closest challengers, Akisaspor. Kind of come out of nowhere this season to occupy second space. They're 12 points behind us. Now, I think I've got my maths right here. Just bear with me while I talk you through it. We're 12 points ahead. We win today. That puts us 15 points ahead. After today, then we'll both be on 29 games, 5 games to go which means 15 points available, maximum. As the Turkish Super League uses head-to-head -head results as the first tiebreaker, that means, and we beat XR Sport earlier in the season, even if we were to lose our remaining games after today and they were to win all of theirs, they wouldn't be able to overtake us. So a win today secures us the title. And let's have a look how we got to this point since the last episode. So, of course, we had that match with Manchester United. Just to get that out of the way, as was to be expected, we lost the game in England 2-0. Not much to say about that. I did leave out a couple of our better players because, you know, I knew, I knew it, was a bit of a, it was a bit of a lost cause. Anyway, we lost 2-0. I suppose it wasn't a humiliating scoreline, so that's something. We also had cup action. We've played the first leg of the semi-final already. Slight correction to the intro, I did allude to recent current events, and I said we were going to be playing the second leg at Fenerbahce Stadium. Actually, we've already been there. We've already got that part out of the way. It was a perfect away leg performance. We won 3-0, two early goals, and then a late goal as they pushed forward. So we are going to play the second leg today at home, in fact, just to correct that. It should be a formality, but in football, you never know. And I might have, you know, with my little helmety joke in the intro, brought the FM gods uh, down against me. Anyway, enough of that. We then travelled back to the same <laughs> venue a few days later for a league game with Fenerbahce. Closer game this time. Um, this one was a bit weird. The first half was very quiet. Then we scored quite early in the second half. Mossomeng got the goal. And then that spurred Fenerbahce into life. That was one of those cases where you almost wish you hadn't scored because then they came streaming at us. They equalized immediately. They went 2-1 up through this uh, Mateta guy just moments later. Luckily, Gustafsson was able to get us back into it. And 2-2 it remained. It kind of went quiet again after that. So there's just this mad... 14 15 minute period of the game. Bashak Shahir, who were running away with it at one point. If you remember back in late November, they were seven points clear of us. Um, they've been in relegation form in this second half of the season. I think I looked through their fixtures, they've only won two of their last 12. Loads of defeats. Again, early goals Holtman and Gustafsson. Uh, they did score pull one back with about 20 minutes to go, but credit to my boys, Mehmet Erdogan, who was on for Holtman at this point, he immediately put us back to a two-goal advantage, and we saw that one out. Huge game against Galatasaray. Again, an early goal. It was Samad Kilic. Waco adding another one on 10 minutes. They immediately made it 2-1. It was 2-2 by half time. so I gave the boys a, a bit of the old hairdryer treatment, and then the second half, we responded really well. Shengul and Claro who made sure of the win. So very pleased with that. Besiktas, crazy game this one. Crazy game this one. Osgur Ortac, our right back, scored off a deflected shot. They equalised. Then they had an own goal. <laughs> At this point, we were 2-1 up. And the stats said, I should have taken a screenshot of this, that we had had no shots on target. And we were 2-1 up, basically because of the deflected shot. 
and the own goal. Anyway, we controlled the game from there and we looked to be cruising and then Gokangul got sent off with 15 minutes to go. So we had to make some changes, tighten things up a bit and then Savage got sent off deep in injury time. Actually, potentially saved us here because a Besiktas striker was clean through on goal and he just hacked the back of his legs. Um, prevented the guy from getting a shot off, got the red card. Maybe he saved us. It was a bit like, uh, if you remember, Solskjaer did something similar for Manchester United against Tottenham back in the 1990s. Uh, kind of echoes of that there. Then Gostepe, um, good result here. They beat us earlier in the season, of course. That was our last league defeat, actually. Again, an early goal from Schengel. There were some great goals in this match. Van de Gen scored a screamer. Holtman scored as well. Mustafa Salam, I've got to show you this kid. I'm going to show you his profile a bit later. He is one of our youth intakes, so he was literally appeared in the game like a week before this match. So substitute appearance, he's really good. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a close up of him later. But uh, let's have a look at the goal here. So look, he he's involved right here in the center circle. Picks the ball up. Then the defense kind of half clear it. He picks up the loose ball. Then little inside pass from Meme and boom, just smacks it straight in. He won the goal of the week award for that. Uh, well deserved. 16 year old, only his second appearance for the club. First ever goal. I congratulated him on the award, as you know you can do in Football Manager. I said, w well done on winning this award. You know his response? The 16 year old, first ever professional goal. He said, thanks boss. I've scored many great goals in my career, but this is one of the best. So, I'm going to show you the youth players in between matches today. Let's get into the action. It's enough waffling from me. So, this is a big game. Hopefully, after all this build-up, we're actually going to secure the title here. Anyway, this is how we're lining up. Utku in goal. Savage and Ozan. Savage back from suspension, of course. Osgur and Yusuf, that useless Nurio, who again, in the Old Trafford Man Champions League game, gave away another penalty. I brought him in so Yusuf could have a rest and immediately regretted it. Five million pounds down the pan there. Omer Korkmaz, Waco and Samed making up that trio in the centre of the park. So we're going with that defensive midfielder role here. Farty and Holtman. Where's Evren, you may ask? Evren Schengel is recovering from a knock. Returning to full fitness in four days. So, you know, we've even if we don't win today, we've still got plenty of time to secure the title. So we'll keep him fit for that. Gustafsson up front. Akisas Borgen for a 4-2-3-1. Samed Yashil. Liverpool fans may be familiar with that name. I know he hardly ever played for Liverpool. Or at least, you know, checking his profile here. He never played for Liverpool. Then he moved to Greece. And he's bounced between Greece and Turkey a bit. Anyway, we are going to tell the team after that Gostepe game. Pick up from where you left off last time. Midfield didn't really respond to that. Get out there, make a difference. Same for you, defence. So, Akisar Spore, green and black. We are in our white away strip. Come on, boys. We're after the title here. And here we go. Is it going to be an early goal again? We've been doing this in so many games lately. No, Gustafsson's header goes straight to the keeper. Froman. Interesting name. Oh, dear. Akisar Spore have taken the lead. Not the start we were looking for. Well, let's demand a bit more from these boys. Well, hopefully we can get back into this. Come on, boys. We need a goal quickly. We need a goal. Let's tie this up before half time, and then we can we can take over from there. Come on. Come on, boys. Nothing's happening. I mean, according to this, we're having shots, but nothing worthy of a highlight. And, oh, no, it's Akisar Spore. Again, completely unmarked here, the guy. And, okay, he just didn't know what to do with the ball. Oh, I'm not liking the looks of this. I mean, it looks like... Okay, here we go. This is more like it. Farty Turk whips one in. And what's happened there? He's given a penalty. Yes, the referee's given a penalty. Good call, referee. And it's Samed Kilic. He's scored so many penalties. And there we go. I don't know what the keeper was doing there, but neither do I care. Samed Kilic, fantastic penalty. Yeah, let's have a... a go. Keeper's doing the old Grobola stuff. <laughs> and then he dives after the ball's gone into the net. Hmm. Okay, Yusuf Ajer then. Samed keeps hold of the ball. Waco to Omer Korkmaz. Into Fatih Turk. And there we go. That's more like it. We're 2-1 up. 
Yes, this is why we're in the position we are in. Great comeback, boys. I'm liking what we're seeing here. Yeah, great play by Samed to pick up the ball after it took that deflection off the defender. Beautiful assist from Omer Korkmaz. Two homegrown players combining there to, to give us the lead. All right, so we're going to go into the break 2-1 up. So a bit of a wobble at the start, but we recovered. All right, I'm going to tell the team, uh, you're, I'm, you're capable of even better. Who switched off? Kabak. Come on, Kabak. Kabak Kaffa. Okay, he's still switched off. Never mind, let's just get on with it. Don't want to overcomplicate things here. All right. Samed then. Oh, it's just an opening highlight. Okay, nothing to get excited about there. Please return to your seats. Right, I'm going to tell them to concentrate. We, yeah, it's precarious. I mean, ideally, let, if we can make this 3-1, we've been doing this in our recent games. Let's, you know, put a bit more of a cushion. Nothing happening here, is there? Nothing happening. All right, I'm thinking... Osgur Otach is looking nervous. Okay, let's put another youngster on then. Jakob Derman, another homegrown product. He can come on. Gustafsson's not having a good game. So I'm going to bring Fati Akhtai on. See how that goes. Normally I would take off the guys on the yellows, but I'm trusting Omar Korkmaz here. He's a good kid. So Akhtar Spore launching the ball forward, but we've won it. Holtman, he's been quiet today, but beautiful ball to Fati Turk. And Fati Turk, oh my lord, what a goal. What a goal. Let's have a look at that again, but I think some beautiful control there. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. So Holtman just takes a touch, launches the ball, Fati Turk making the run. Beautiful couple of touches there, just takes the defenders out of the game. And it's past the keeper, and I, that boy has just won us the title. Okay, final substitution. Let's give someone a run out. I am going to give our youngster, Mustafa Salam, a bit of a run out. I'm going to get the old thing about taking off the guy on a hat trick. But who cares? Mustafa Salam can play as a central attacking midfielder or out on the right wing. Fantastic prospect. Okay, and it looks like it's coming. It's coming. Okay, final highlight here. Akhtar Yep, there we go. The whistle's been blown, and I th I'm pretty sure that we've won the title. I didn't get any ticker tape there, but we'll see. And, okay, let's tell them. Good win for us. Everybody's happy. And let's leave the match and get that confirmation of the title. Are we going to get it? It's against their belief I've maintained a surprising title challenge throughout the season. We're defending champions. Hardly call that surprising. And we'll be looking to put together a strong run of form in the... F oh. Wait a minute. I'm confused. I think we've won the title, but it's saying we still have to do something to become champions. Let's... Uh, I'm confused here. So let's have a look at the table. We are indeed 15 points clear. Five games to go. Let's check the rules. League sorting rules results between teams. Okay. We just beat Akisar Spor 3-1. And we beat them 3-0 earlier in the season. We're champions. We're champions. Come on. Call it like it is. Anyway. Fade to black. And we'll be right back. Oh, welcome back. Tekraj Geldin is. And as promised, before we get into the cup semi-final second leg... We're going to take a closer look at the youth intake. Three players who stood out. Three players with this five star or four gold star, one black star potential ability. Best of the bunch and noted by my head of youth development as the potential to be one of the best youth prospects to come out of Genshlebi Lee for years, which when you consider we've had Berke in Al and we've currently got Omer Korkmaz, Sevet, Shenturk and so on in the squad. That's quite a statement. Attacking midfielder. Advanced playmaker is his natural position. Or can play attacking midfielder as well. Great. I use that position in one of my tactical setups. Determination is very high. Uh, teamwork and work rate are good too. Those are things I always look for. Physical stats. Decent start. Decent start. We've got some work to do with acceleration and that speed. But 
That's great. Personality perfectionist. It's not a personality I've seen before in Football Manager, if I'm honest, or not one I've noticed. So hopefully that's a good thing. That means he's going to be dedicated and hardworking and not all angst-ridden because he only got 9.5 in his game or something. Um, yeah, I like the look of a lot of things here. The only things I'm concerned about considering the role we want him to be in, passing and technique. But as you can see, he's responding well to training and game time already. So the future looks bright for this kid. Two other players to come out of this youth intake with that high potential. Timochin Chelan, I'll show you him first. Right winger. Good. As you know, we've got a we've got to be wary of the fact that Evro Schengel with the form he's in might not stay with us for a very long time. Again, high determination here. So that's good. Physical stats are okay. Bit of work to be done in some areas, but he looks pretty good. Um, bit of work to do on the technical side of things as well, but there's time. He's a realist. Uh, I've got some people tutoring him already, and hopefully he's going to be a first-teamer in a couple of years' time. And the final player to look at here, Issa Kocher. Not too excited about this guy. I'll tell you why. Although he has that high potential, First thing, if we compare him to the other two, determination is quite low. Personality, slack. And this has already shown itself. I tried to tutor him. Three tutors were suggested. He rejected all of them. He said, oh, you can suggest someone else. I'm just not too keen to work with this particular person. We're talking about guys like Lucas Claro, who's been here since the beginning. Goko Kaja, who's, you know... We don't have much time for, left with him to tutor people. He's been a great tutor to others in the squad. He just turned them all down. And I've had four or five messages already since he signed his youth deal that he's unhappy with the level of training. So not very excited about this guy. We'll see how it goes. So here's how we're going to line up today. Come for our more attacking formation. But there's a, a few different faces in the team considering we're already 3-0 up, but I'm also rewarding players who've brought us to this point. Amongst them, Levent Tunja, he's played most of our cup games, so he takes his place in goal. Antov, also been a cup specialist this year. He partners Ozan in the centre of defence. Jakob Derman and Adnan Gul, a couple of youngsters there taking in the full-back positions. Van de Gen and Waco in the centre of the park. Mossameng, Farty and Holtman making this attacking midfield trio. Farty Akhtai comes in up front. Gustafsson needs a bit of personal reflection time to get over these 6.3s and 6.4s he's been getting recently. Mustafa Salam is on the bench. He can come on for Mossameng in the second half. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, Fenerbahce going for a 4-2-3-1. I like it when teams leave this gap in the centre of the park. Hopefully Wake on Van again are going to exploit that space. So once again, we'll tell the team to pick up from where they left off last team, last team out, last time out even. Uh, okay, just being rested, and there we go. Usual tunnel questions. Okay, Fenerbahce in the yellow and white. We're playing in red and black, and let's get this game underway and book our place in the Turkish Cup final. We're on for another double. Başak here have won the earlier kickoff today, so they will be awaiting the outcome of this match. Farty then whipping in a free kick here, and oh, it's bounced around a bit somehow. Bit of ping pong, bit of pinball in the box. No, it's been disallowed. Oops, did it again. Okay, never mind. Not as bad as in the when I thought we'd scored at the Bernabeu. Anyway, nothing much apart from that happening at the moment. We've, we've gone past the half hour mark. No further highlights. Okay, well, I guess we'll just have a chat then. Oh, wait, here we go. Holtman with the ball, knocks it into Waco. Out to Farty, Farty to Farty to Farty, and ooh, he's gone over the bar. All right, then, looks like we're going to be goalless as we head into the break. Oh, no, here come Fenerbahce, one of our former players, Ahmet Owers, taking the throw in there. Uh, they're knocking it about a bit. Come on, get it off them, boys. Okay, safe hands from the keeper. Is that the highlight? Is that like all all they've got from this first half to show is a cross that the keeper catches? But no, there's a break here. Holtman's got it. Whips in the cross. Comes to Mossameng. And there we go. He's scored a few of those already this season from the edge of the box. Fantastic strike. 
in stoppage time in the first half. Look at this. Holtman does what he does best. Takes it out to the corner. Whips that cross in. The clearance falls to Mossamang. One touch. Boom. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to go into half time. 1 0 up. Fantastic. Don't like the fact that the players are looking complacent, though. So we're going to have to address that in the team talk. Assistant says let them go out with clean minds, but I know what to say. I know what they'll react to. Everybody except for Waco has had a positive response to that. So let's get out there for that second half. Okay, I'll we'll back up that team talk with a reminder to concentrate. Here we go, highlight. Okay, comes out to Fati Turk, whips in an early cross to Fati Akhtai, and the goalkeeper saves it. Yeah, probably could have done better there. He hasn't been playing much recently, though, old Fati Akhtai, so probably lacking a bit of, a bit of that sharpness in front of goal. I think it's time to bring on the man everyone's talking about. Well, I'm talking about, anyway, Mustafa Salam. Going to put Gustafsson on up front. I probably need to review the striker roles here. The lone striker is not doing too well these last couple of games. So we'll bring those two on. And we'll probably bring on another youngster for the final 10 minutes. In fact, let's do that now. Zavet Shenturk is coming on for Van de Gen. Swap those two over. He'll be fine as a Mazala. All right, then we'll change you to your preferred central midfielder role. And let's encourage these all these youngsters out on the pitch. Homegrown players are plenty out there. Fatih Turk, of course, is one before... Before I took it over as manager, he was generated into the youth team at the start of the game. Oh, what was going on there? The defence went to sleep. Holtman didn't. And he's given them a bit of a rude wake-up call. So two goals today, both of them coming in stoppage time, technically. Look at that. Gustafsson with the flick on. Nobody in the Fenerbahce team, not even the goalkeeper, was paying attention. Oh, and are we going to make it three here? Possibly... Here we go. What's happening? Bit of a scramble. Antov gets it. It's played forward to Holtman. No, Holtman can't get the cross in this time. Fenerbahce have got the chance to break. And Mateta misses when it would have been easier to score. And that's probably going to be that. Levent here. We're going to launch the goal kick. And the referee is going to blow the whistle. Or he's going to give a throw in. All right, here we go. Jakob Duman takes the throw in, and there we have it. 5-0 on aggregate. We are in the cup final yet again. That Does that make it three cup finals in a row? I think it does. So, yeah, five league games left. Some quite easy ones as well. I mean, Boluspor are pretty much relegated at this point. Yeah, the league title, a formality. We're just waiting for them to rubber stamp it. So we're going to come back for the cup final. What we'll probably do the next episode is going to be the cup final. And then we'll skip ahead to the final game of the season. Just, you know, just to round off the season in a nice way. We'll also do a bit of end of season review. So if there's anything in particular what you want me to show you, to look at, any particular players, um, we can go through some... Some team highlights, we can have a look at the finances, anything like that you want to look at, just let me know in the comments. Also, who do you think should be our player of the season? Who do you think should be our player of the season? What do you think of those youth prospects I show you? Who jumps out to you as a potential first teamer of the future? But for now, we're going to wrap up the episode, so please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer. See you again soon.